Before even beginning, it's important to know that Butler has described her story, Blood Child, as a story about male pregnancy that is set on a foreign planet inhabited by giant, powerful, and intelligent insect-like beings. Moreover, Gan, the main character, is all about coming to terms with his role as being the new carrier of alien species eggs. The sole purpose of reproduction through the males is to lead the females to birth to rates. Therefore, the males are able to birth the tillix. It's different in the idea that the female tillix is impregnating the male terrain. The story portrays similar aspects of a male birth to a female birth in the sense that it describes a C-section, the intense pain, and the medical attention needed to perform this operation. Before beginning the story, I think it was safe to say that we all viewed females as being the sole responsibility for bearing children and nurturing those childs as well. Uh, but after reading the story, uh, we kind of have a new perspective, that being that males can take on female roles as well uh, regarding birth and the sense of nurse, nurturing those children. However, the society we live in today doesn't really allow for that to happen. But stranger things have happened, and who knows what's out there. Uh, the main point is that this, high, this story really highlights the idea that males and females aren't necessarily different in their gender roles. This is important to us because it allows a sense of relief knowing a male can take on a typical female role. It opens our minds to wonder what other roles males are able to take on. I think most importantly, this story really allows us to build our sense of imagination. puts a female as an authority figure in a specific household as well as in the preserve. In our society, it is rare to see a woman leading a household or this high up in politics. Some people, even today, believe that society could fail if women are allowed to move up in it. Butler wrote this story to show that these people are wrong. She wants to get across that society can still function if gender roles were reversed. Reading the story put me in the perspective of a vulnerable and inferior, inferior person in society. As a male, I've never really felt this from a societal level. Uh, being powerless and stripped of my rights has never really been a problem for me, nor something I've ever really worried about before. Uh, this opened my eyes and showed me that it would be like what it would be like if I was powerless. Uh, shifting back into reality, I can now see powerlessness uh, on a new level, and I'm better able to connect with and ultimately help those who are vulnerable in our society. With the different gender roles, with females impregnating males and females being the head of the households, that gets you to think of the things that aren't really traditional in today's world, but that were traditional in Octavia Butler's story. Despite these alter roles, there are some that are parallel to today's society. Like the one where the, the host has the baby, but then the females still raise it. And that, that shows that with today's society, Females do have a stronger role than what they are given credit for, and that's just important to today's society. Xavier Butler was critiquing her own story, and she said that she wanted to write this story where a male was, was becoming impregnated, not out of an act like where he needed to be, but out of, out of an act of love. And this shows that like big brothers, even in their, their society, Big brothers do still protect their, their sisters um, from being harmed or used in any way, and that's what happens in today's world too.